What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about an old company, a little unknown company called Nintendo. Uh, I've been with Nintendo for many years and uh, as a gamer they have a very special place in my heart. With this last generation of Nintendo, with the Wii U, it's been a little disappointing. E3 really, for me, put the nail in the coffin for Nintendo, at least for this generation. They didn't show anything as far as the new Zelda game. They showed Star Fox, which to me looked underwhelming. They showed a bunch of 3DS stuff, which is great. But I was really hoping they'd come out and at least breathe a little bit of excitement into the Wii U. And unfortunately, that's something that they failed to do. That I don't think anybody was excited after Nintendo's little uh, E3 press conference, if we can call it that, their little Nintendo Direct. Uh, Nintendo, ah, what are you guys doing? There's so many opportunities you guys have to be successful as far as video game dominance. You've got some of the best franchises. You guys got the best first party stuff. You know, Sony and Microsoft can't mess with like Mario or, you know, Sam or Star Fox. They can't mess with any of these characters you guys have. You guys have a long standing history and people my age in their 30s, you know, mid 30s, early 30s, late 20s, they all grew up playing their Super Nintendo, playing their Nintendo, playing their GameCube. I love my GameCube. I still have two of them, you know, and, and the Wii, while to me that it kind of veered off of what Nintendo was known for, was immensely popular. And now that we have the Wii U. You guys need to stop sitting on the franchises you have. You guys need to upgrade your technology. The technology needs to be on par with the competitors. And I know, uh, you know, Nintendo, they like to say we're not competing. That's bullshit. You are competing. You compete with Sony. You compete with Microsoft and whoever decides to jump into the video gaming foray. There's a YouTuber by the name of Aryaksini who renders video game footage and kind of makes his own. And he's actually rendered Mario. Uh, in the Mario 64 type of engine, uh, but he actually rendered it in Unreal 4 engine, and it looks phenomenal. I saw this today, I knew I had to share it with you guys. Watching the footage this guy created, uh, I felt good and bad, because I felt like Nintendo, they could do something like this, but bad, because they probably won't. And so I got really excited watching it, because it looks so phenomenal. And ha having a game like this, a Mario game that looked on par with PlayStation 4 or better, on par with the Xbox One or better, but his actual Mario game, who wouldn't want to play that? I mean, imagine if they redid a Mario, a open world Mario type of game like this, which actually looked like this and it, and it revolutionized the formula of what Mario was. A game like this could really breathe a lot of new life into Nintendo's console uh, market. Even though I don't think the Wii U could, could ever, comp I mean, do this. This is Unreal Engine 4. I don't think the Wii U has the power to do it, but their Nintendo NX that they're going to talk about next year can certainly do this. And I'm thinking, Nintendo, this is a YouTuber. This is a guy who's uploaded a video that he made himself in his own spare time, our Yaksini. And uh, I'll put a link in the description for this guy's channel. Nintendo, look what he did with, with one of your tried and true and beloved franchises, he made it phenomenal, and, and some people don't like it. I personally think it's wonderful to see this. I mean, I've seen Mario in a cartoony world, and polygonal world, and 2D world. I would love to see Mario in an updated graphic style. It doesn't have to be super realistic. It can be, you know, he shows actually a very realistic uh, version of it, and he see, shows kind of a cartoony realistic version of it. Kind of, you know, step back a little bit from the realism. I'd love to see either one. I mean, I think it's a, a natural evolution of what Mario is. Uh, and as far as technology, I think the technology exists that you can start offering your con your consumer base something spectacular on the graphical front. Now, Mario Kart on the Wii U looked phenomenal, but very few of your games really can compete with the competition. And I think you guys definitely should be competing with the competition. You guys let me know what you think about this video. Would you like to see a Mario World or an open world Mario 64 type of game in this type of graphic style? I personally would love it. You guys be sure to give a thumbs up and show your support of my channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.